You're familiar with these topics? Well, these are different question sets, and as we go on as usual, I would uh, make explanations on concepts that are not clear. And virtually every topic and every question here, I would make inputs. I want to believe you have your writing material. I your do. Pen. Okay, great. So let's look at this question. Which food chain is found in a water ecosystem? Wait. Yeah, A. 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 Yes. Okay. A. That's correct. So, a. why did you choose A? Because it correctly shows uh, a water, a uh, water ecosystem. All right. Great. Great. So you have different ecosystem. What other ecosystem can you think of? A normal one. Normal one? Which is a normal one? I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's a, more like a terrestrial ecosystem. Right. On land. Okay, look at question number two. So it's just the picture below to answer the question. You have this picture. A farmer notices that the leaves on some farm flowers have holes caused by insects. The seeds of these sunflowers are planted. How many of the new sunflower plants will inherit leaves with holes? The holes are caused by insects. Okay, yeah. it's not inherited. So, None will have holes. I can see the holes. Yeah, you can see the holes. These holes are caused by insects. Okay, they are not inherited. Inherited means um, transferred from the parents. Like, um, well, let me give an example with humans. If your mom is fair, most likely you will be fair, okay? Did you get that? Oh. You get that no. now? So when we, when we go back to the flowers here, these uh, O's are not contained in the seeds, okay? Like it's not in the, the, the gene, the makeup. It's not part of the seeds. So there is no way the flower that will spring from the seeds will have O's unless you still have the insects dealing with the plants, okay? Okay. This is a question on electricity. Use the picture below to answer the question. Which object is needed to light the bulb? A battery. Okay, beautiful. A battery is needed to light the bulb. In every circuit, there is a charge source to power the circuit. In a simple circuit, what powers the circuit is a battery. The battery provides the electrical energy, okay? Over to question four. Use the pictures below to answer the question. Now you look at the pictures. It's very important when you have questions. You look at the pictures, then you go back to the question. What's your answer? A. A. Eruption. Which yes. event caused the mountain eruption? Oh, okay. Is that your final answer? Yes. Your final answer, eruption. Correct. Why did you choose eruption? Because if it's got if if it looks like that after the event, it something must have like went out. Beautiful. Like must have come out. If not, it will still stay covered. Correct. Question number five. Which time of the day does the sun appear highest in the sky? Noon. Noon. Correct. At noon, the sun appears to stand directly above you. And at that point, it's the, it appears the highest in the sky. Correct. 
That's great. Question number six. Use the picture below to answer the question. Ant experiment. Here you go. You can see the ants. You could look at the diagram closely. Try to make sense of it. Then let's go over to the question. Which question does this experiment test? You can see the light source. This is an opaque material, shadow. D. Mm -hmm. Will end go to a dark or a light area. Great. So what's the reason for you choosing that? Because there's like a spot where it's dark and a spot where it's light. Beautiful. Correct. That's great. We go to the next question. A to Z. Pardon? D. D, wooden door. Correct. You know what an opaque object is, right? Yes. Great. What is it? It's... It's... It's a thing... Um... It's an object that blocks sunlight. That blocks light from going through it. Correct. An object that does not allow light to pass through it is an opaque object. Great. What is the opposite of an opaque object? A uh, transparent object. Great. Correct. And there is this class of object between opaque and transparent. They allow a certain amount of light to pass through them, but not all. Do you know what they are called? What? Have you heard of translucent objects? Yes. Yeah, translucent. They are neither opaque nor completely like transparent. Paper. Like a translucent tissue paper. paper. Oh, yeah, beautiful, correct. You're on point. A tissue paper, correct. Now we have question number eight. Students want to find out which box of feathers has the greatest mass. Which tool could they use to measure the mass of each box? Over to you. A. A scale or a balance? Beautiful, correct. A mass scale, a mass balance, a beam balance, correct. Question number nine. What is another word for protective coloration? Over to you. A. Camouflage, correct. Protective coloration. So what does that mean from the expression protective coloration? What does it mean? Like, um, some animals can camouflage, like a chameleon, and you, they have colors to help them blend in with the environment. Beautiful. To protect them against predators, right? Yes. Now, over to the next question. Number 10. Use the table below to answer the question. So first, study the table before we move on to the question. The time and the air temperature. Mm -hmm. What is the predicted temperature at 4 p.m.? 4 p.m. Great. Over to you. Mm. See. Wait, I wanna, can I see the picture again? Like that diagram again? Okay, this? Yeah, it's C. C? Yeah, sure. Correct. Did you know this? Because each time, it's getting, the temperature is getting higher and higher, but not by too much, but not too much higher. Like about one to five, one to six. So it's not less than like, so it was only getting about six, one to six degrees higher. Right, beautiful, correct. For, if you know that the time increases by one hour, right? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. The first temperature increased by one degree. The next one, one degree. The next one, two degrees, two degrees, two degrees, three degrees. You're right. So the temperature increment is not quite high, correct? 